Hi. Hi. Welcome home from work. Hey, thank you. On this video, I'm gonna introduce my husband. Is he cute? I wanted my husband to come on here and I want you to tell the whole world why you're so miserable as a vegan husband. Wait, what? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not miserable. Well, I have a few questions. Did I force you to do this? <laughs> no, it was definitely my own personal choice. It was actually after watching you kind of go through your own journey and watching the changes that you were experiencing. I wasn't a big fan of like following a fad or doing a diet to, you know, just for the sake of doing something. Like I like to do things that are meaningful. And so being able to watch you go through it and watch the results happen like in real time, I decided to, you know, hop on the train with you. And also just kind of thinking about my own history of health and I just want to know who you're talking to. I'm thinking, I'm <laughs> talking. But anyway, just like after watching my own family, watching their health decline because of choices that they were making, I had already told myself, and I mean, my wife and I had already said that we were going to draw a line in the sand. I have a question. What do you do for a living? I'm a therapist in training. Being a therapist, why is it important for people who come into your office for them to take care of their physical health too? In my opinion, personally, it just makes sense that like all the parts of you are connected. If you don't have a heart, like blood doesn't flow through your body. If you're not taking care of certain parts of your body or certain, you know, entities of your body, to me, it makes sense then why your mental health can be in decline. It makes sense why you might not feel as though you're okay. There's so much research out there about how what you put into your body affects how you think, how you act, how you react to things. So... But anyway, there's a lot of research on just how the things that you do to your body affect your mentality. As you are so cute in this light right now, I can't. Since being vegan, do you find that eating healthy is expensive or hard? Okay, let me just tell y'all something. Eating healthy is not as expensive as people make it to be. Now, if you're buying all those expensive healthy brands, by all means, yes, you're going to be spending a little extra paper. No. no, our bill has actually been cheaper and it's been awesome to be able to save in that way. Like, I don't know where all of these, like, different sources of information that say that eating healthy is expensive. Do you remember that one time you were in school mm -hmm. and we were kind of on the all the time. <laughs> One thing that was told to me was you could just eat ramen. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine and you're not really fine. It wouldn't that be easier? You might have to sacrifice your health for ramen. Yeah, bump that. No, I'm not gonna sacrifice my health for some ramen. It's just, it's not happening. And we made it work. Oh yeah, like eggplant parmesan. When's I the last time you. you made that? Felix, quit making my fear of, I haven't made it in a long time and I'm trying to think about it, but it's not coming out of my mouth and I don't know because it was a long time ago. What she said. I've definitely become a better chef. I feel like I could own my own restaurant if I really wanted to. Is there any like secret weapon that you have or is it just like, I'm all man, I got this, oh man. Aw, that was so cute. I don't know if there's a secret weapon. I think one thing I would say for sure is to ease into it. Do not do the whole cold turkey thing unless you have the willpower to do so. Second, I would say definitely get some support. Even as a man, I can't do this on my own. Um, there are times where I slip up. There are times where I do crave, you know, things that aren't good for me. Can we stop for a second? It's super bright in my face that I can't see. I can't see what's going on. <laughs> get some teammates. Get some teammates. Yeah, get some support. Stashi. Anything my wife cooks, anything I cook, and anything I don't have to prepare myself. Can you spit out a quick rhyme about your vegan journey? Fruits and veggies build up my stamina. Give me all the fruits and vegetables, especially bananas. Any other questions? 
Oh no, my earrings. I just wanted to introduce my husband because there's a husband to that vegan wife and this is him. I feel like it's good for people to know where you come from and where you stand on this because it is important. We have to be together when it comes to all of this. We want to be able to teach our kids how important it is to eat healthy, eat, eat well, and eat colorful and variety. Our food tastes really good. Do we eat like kings or do we eat like kings? We eat like kings. <laughs> We weren't always, you know, super mindful about what we ate or how we took care of ourselves. And now that we are, like, I don't see us going back. Can you close your ears for a second? Hey, I have something to tell you. They won't always be on board in the beginning. Brandon was not on board in the beginning, and now he is, and that's why he's here. So no, it's no secret I was skeptical at first, but I'm a true believer now, and I'm glad I made the decision, and you should too.